Hello guys, welcome to another edition of our lesson video in TLE Home Economics. And today's topic is Marketing Finnish Household Linens. So you have there the code. It's TLE6HE-0E-9. Okay, so here are your objectives. And the content of this video is about Marketing Finnish Household Linens. Review. Group the pictures of tools and materials in sewing according to their classification. Place them in their correct box. Okay, so we have here pictures of sewing materials and below are the boxes. So for the instruction, you will place the pictures in their correct box. Okay, so we will start below and we have the thread clipper. So we should we put the thread clipper? Yes, it's a cutting tool. Next is the stitch clipper. So where should we put the stitch reaper? Yes, it should be placed in the cutting tools and materials box. Okay, next is the L square or the tailor square. We should we put that one? Yes, it's in the measuring tools and materials box. The third one is bent shears. Okay, where should we put the bent shears? Yes, it's under the cutting tools. Next is the tailor's chalk. Of course, tailor's chalk should be in the marking tools, materials box. Okay, the last one below. Those are threads, so which should be put the threads. It should be in the sewing tools and materials box. Now let's start with the upper portion, the pinking shears. Okay, where should we put the pinking shears? Yes, it should be in the cutting tools and materials box. Okay, so the next one is the safety pins. Where should we put the safety pins? Yes, it should be in the sewing tools and materials box. Okay, another is the French curve. Where should we put or place the French curve? Correct, it should be in the measuring tools and materials box. How about the thimble? Yes, the thimble belongs to the sewing tools and materials box. That's great. Another is the pin cushion. Where should we put that one? Yes, guys. Pin cushion belongs to the sewing tools and materials box. Okay, we have last two. We have the here the hem gauge. Where should we put the hem gauge? Yes, hem gauge belongs to the measuring tools and materials box. How about the tracing wheel? This is the last one for our review. Yes, tracing wheel belongs to the marking tools and materials box. Great job, guys! Now, let's go to the second part of our lesson, and this is establishing a purpose for the lesson. So, here are different shapes, colors, and designs of pillowcases. So, the first one. Okay, that design is called couple. Okay, another. Yes, that is boyfriend pertaining to love. Okay, the third picture yes it is hand painted okay, you can do aside from flowers you can do other designs using hand painting okay another yes embroidery next picture is yes a simple design and the last one is baby yes they are using a fabric that is shiny silk and smooth that is good for the baby Okay, so the third part of our lesson is presenting examples or instances of the new lesson. Today, we will learn on how to make pillowcases by watching a video that shows how to make pillowcases and see some pattern in making pillowcases. Okay, so you have here a pattern. So this is an envelope pillow pattern. So even if you don't have background in sewing, I know you can imitate because the illustration is very simple okay so we are now in the fourth part and this is discussing new concepts and practicing new skills number one so do you know someone or have seen somebody who is selling pillowcases so possible answer she can be a mother it can also be a neighbor or a relative and etc what do you call a woman who sews dresses uniforms curtains and all other as her job the answer for that is a seamstress, a dressmaker, or a tailor. 
What benefit can we get in making pillowcases? There's no need to buy and we can earn and make profit out of it. Discussing new concepts and practicing new skill number two. Enumerate the different concerns in making pillowcases and in selling them such as Number one, materials needed. Number two, cost of capital. Number three, designs. Number four, marketing strategy. And number five, the target consumer. Finding practical applications of concepts and skills in daily living. In making a pillowcase, everybody should observe the safety precautions in handling materials and in sewing to avoid untoward accidents. For your individual work, which is the actual sewing of pillowcases, we have here the following steps. Step number one, pick out fabric. Pillowcases are often made from a fabric that feels comfortable against the skin, like soft cotton, satin, flannel, or a jersey knit fabric. Pick out fabric that matches the color scheme in your bedroom, especially your bed, covering, and sheets. To make a set of standard pillowcases, you will need 2 yards or 1.8 meters of fabric. If you're going to sleep on the pillowcases, be sure to choose a washable fabric. If you're making pillowcases that are more decorative in purpose, the fabric you choose doesn't have to be soft or quite as easily washable. Choose any type of fabric you'd like to complement the color scheme in your bedroom. Step 2. Cut the fabric to size. To make a standard pillowcase, use a scissor or a rotary cutter to cut out a piece that is 45 inches by 36 inches. If you're using a pattern fabric, take care to cut it so that the pattern is straight. Step 3. Fold the fabric in half. Fold it lengthwise with the thin sides or right sides of the fabric together. The unfinished sides or wrong sides should be facing out. Fourth step, stitch the long side on one short side. Use a sewing machine or a threaded needle to make a straight stitch up the long side of the fabric. Turn the fabric and continue stitching one of the short sides. When you're finished, turn the fabric right side out. Use a thread that matches your fabric or a contrasting thread to add a little flair. If you're stitching by hand, take your time and make sure your seam is completely straight. You can pin the fabric with straight pins to help guide your stitching if necessary. Number 5. Hem the open side. Start by folding the fabric back to create a 1 half inch hem. Iron the fabric to create a crease. Fold the fabric back again, this time creating a 3 inch hem. Iron the fabric again and use your sewing machine or a needle and thread to stitch around the base of the hem to keep it in place. Number 6. Decorate the pillowcase. You can add ribbon, decorative lace, or other decorations to the finished pillowcase. Consider sewing a colorful contrasting ribbon over the hemline to hide that stitch there. Letter H. Making generalizations and abstractions about the lesson. What skills do you need in making pillowcases and in gaining extra income out of it? Yes, you'll need the skills in sewing household linens. For our evaluation, we will use a rubric. So, rubric can be seen on the next slide. Okay, aside from this rubric, uh, you have the option to have another rubric. Okay guys, this is the acknowledgement portion. So you can see here the sites of different images used in this video presentation. So I'll see you again for the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.